Hello, Loveland Classical Schools community. I am Ian Stout, LCS Executive Director, and it's my pleasure to share an overview of the state of the school. Loveland Classical Schools is centered on the partnership between our parents and community and the school in support of our mission to assist parents in developing young minds with virtuous character, critical thinking skills, and a passion for learning to become exceptional community stewards. And the success that we achieve together as a community is highlighted in the results and the successes that I am happy to share with you today. The state of the school is very, very strong. As we can see, Loveland Classical Schools was again designated a school of distinction by the Thompson School District, our authorizer. Uh, this is based off of our school performance framework, which is the report card provided by the Colorado Department of Education, which again, Loveland Classical Schools meets the performance rating, the highest category. Um, ever since the framework first became available in 2018, Loveland Classical Schools has been in that performance rating. Um, a really major point we want to highlight is that last spring, our charter contract was re renewed by the Thompson School District by a unanimous vote. And per the rubric used by the Thompson School District, Loveland Classical Schools exceeded, not just met, exceeded uh, regarding our academic program around school safety, around school culture and student discipline, exceeded also in terms of board governance, and exceeded in uh, school law and school finance. So exceeded in all those categories in the Thompson rubric in our <coughs> renewal last year. Uh, another point we're happy to highlight is again, our graduating seniors this year as juniors last year had the highest average SAT scores in our district and area again for many years running. So we're very proud of our students and the great work that they do with our teachers and our families. And again, Loveland Class School has maintained a uh, high graduation rate of our graduating seniors and high acceptance into the colleges uh, of our students' choice and scholarship offers. Um, additionally, uh, we maintain competitive and athletics as well as all state instrumental music and choir ensembles. Um, and also our students are very active in the community and um, financially, as a school, we're in a very good position. Uh, Standard & Poor's, who provide a credit rating for, for countries, for international companies, uh, they increase our credit rating twice in two years in a row. This slide is showing us the Colorado Department of Education's School Performance Framework, the report card. And what we're seeing here is that we meet in the areas of academic achievement and academic growth, and we exceeded, again, in post-secondary workforce readiness in our high school. This slide, briefly, is showing us that uh, at the end of the year, uh, nationally normed benchmark assessments, looking at, uh, as a grade level, are our students ending the year at or above grade level targets? And every area tested from uh, kindergarten through the high school was at that grade level target. But what I want to point out is in the black boxes, starting in the third grade in reading and language usage, and starting in the fourth grade in math, our grade levels on average as a grade level cohort are ending the year a grade level ahead to the national target. So for example, in math, fourth grade math as a grade level average is ending higher than the faith, fifth grade national target. And this continues all the way from the elementary through the high school. We're also very excited to highlight our high staff retention rates. And our student enrollment, again, is very strong. Uh, we have 15 more students than we anticipated. Uh, we are at 1,027 students uh, to start the school year. And we have approximately 500 students on the wait list. Also, our high school continues to grow, as we know from our uh, Academy Wing expansion. Uh, we have 78 students in our ninth grade, and our target is at 75 to 80 student range. So uh, we continue to grow and with a very robust uh, grade cohorts coming up through the grades. This slide is reflecting um, the end of year parent surveys. And as you can see from these global indicators, the large majority of our families recommend Love and Classical to other families, believe that the school is heading in the right direction, 
agree that uh, Love and Classical is helping their student develop virtuous character and that we inspire a culture of human flourishing. And these trends are also reflected in the end of year staff surveys regarding enjoyable work environment, uh, our mission and vision being a priority, and a culture of human flourishing. Another point that we're proud to highlight is our strength in the sciences, math and technology programs that we have at Love and Classical Schools. This slide is reflecting our performance uh, on the state assessments in the areas of math and science in comparison to the designated STEM focused schools in the area. Um, and this is per the CMAS state assessment that is provided in science in the fifth, eighth, and 11th grades. And as you can see, uh, 11 classical schools uh, pretty much through, throughout um, uh, these areas exceeds um, in relation to the local STEM focused schools. And we know that when you do classical education right, and you do it well, then you're doing everything well, in literature, history, and of course, science, math, and technology. And we can see this with the science, technology, and innovation uh, offerings we have at both campuses. At our academy for middle and high school, we have uh, computer science offerings, the innovation and pre-engineering classes, robotics, and graphic design. Additionally, uh, we continue to grow our offerings for college credit in the high school. Love and Classical's high school offers 17 course options for college credit. Um, and so as you can see from the slide, automatically our 11th and 12th grade literature and history classes are college credited uh, through the college concurrent credit program. These classes are automatically accepted in all public uh, colleges in Colorado, in addition to uh, some electives. And we use the advanced placement program for our sciences and our math, our advanced math classes and electives. Uh, so 17 course options in our high school for college credit. And in addition, we're uh, always happy to share that we have a partnership with Front Range Community College uh, for one full year uh, tuition-free enrollments. We are also very excited to share recent updates from our alumni, Loveland Classical graduates. One of our alumni just graduated from the West Point U.S. Military Academy and uh, with a degree in mathematics. He is currently in survival training in the backwoods of Alabama, um, background in Chinese language, uh, in computer science and advanced mathematics. And he entered the U.S. Army as an officer right out of West Point. Another one of our alumni who graduated from Love and Classical Schools last spring was designated the Pre-Med Student of the Year at Colorado Christian uh, University, and he's headed into a medical school. Uh, we have multiple students who uh, are pursuing engineering degrees or pre-med uh, tracks at Colorado State University uh, locally. Uh, additionally, we're very excited to share that two of our alumni last spring received a full ride scholarship to four years of college uh, with the Daniel Scholarships. This prestigious scholarship was awarded to only four students in the whole Thompson School District here locally in Loveland. Two of those four students came from Love and Classical schools. Uh, additionally, uh, one of our alumni recently graduated from the University of Colorado of Boulder and is now pursuing graduate studies at Cornell University in the Ivy League. Uh, we also have a graduate um, who finished University of Colorado last spring uh, with a aero, um, aerospace uh, engineering degree and computer science degree and uh, is uh, pursuing a career in the aerospace industry uh, and the military. Uh, and uh, many of our students are also interested in the trades. Uh, and so uh, one of our alumni recently graduated from um, Wyoming Tech uh, with a certification in diesel mechanics and is loving his career doing diesel mechanic work up in Wyoming. Uh, so uh, please join us for the High School Formation Night on Wednesday, November 20th at 5.30 at the Academy campus to learn more about our college concurrent uh, credit course options, as well as to hear directly from our alumni and current high school students about what the LCS High School provides for your student. And as we look ahead to the future, we are excited to share about uh, the initial planning work we are currently undertaking to build out a auditorium 
for our grades kindergarten through 12th grade uh, to be hosted at the academy campus. So this slide is showing in the purple area at the top left is uh, what is currently drafted as our uh, future auditorium space. Um, to provide uh, concerts in our middle and high school ensembles as well as for our elementary program. And the auditorium would also host our drama program. So we are looking uh, to conduct this work in about two to three years and we are uh, undertaking initial planning work now. We just wanna thank you. Uh, Loveland Classical Schools uh, in supporting our, our staff, our teachers, and, and in support of our students. And uh, just thank you um, for everything you do uh, in your volunteering work at the in Morning Forum, on the foundation with the Boosters Group, uh, and everything you do. Because the state of this school is very strong. And it's because of everything we do together.